going on this morning we're uh back on the other side of the trail that should already be done but it's not um i'll show you what we're working with so back here at the very end um a few weeks ago three weeks ago maybe we got a three inch rain one one thursday night and the guys that were tilling the soil cement in decided it was a good time that Friday morning to come back here and put it to till cement. So they got their tiller stuck and said they got it buried up to the tires, which is about four foot. So I'll see if I can get a picture of it. And I'll put a picture in here. But what they want to do is dig this trail out the trail's somewhere in here i mean it's all messed up to somewhere right in here about 14 foot wide a few feet wider than the hoe tracks maybe a foot on either side dig it out two foot deep and fill it in with riprap and then put some kind of ballast stone on top of that so that's what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna just set y'all up on a tripod probably <laughs> So this does have riprap under it. This is put some like temp drive stone. We call it ballast. So the truck could back up on top of it and not bust the tires. Um, Cause if they back up on this riprap, it'll probably, probably blow a tire or two out. So we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to set y'all up and uh, cut out another 30. 30 or 40 feet.
guys, so I'm editing this video now, and it looks like I stopped. I didn't record much more than about 100 feet of cutting and refilling with uh, riprap, so it's all basically the same thing. So I was just, just stopped it there. It's pretty repetitive, but I will have a second video coming out. Um, of grading this and I had to put ABC on it and put fabric out and stuff like that and haul all this dirt off that I piled up. So I'll, I'll have a second video of that coming out soon.